right on 50. Walsh in front. Taps the ball down. He's on Cuthbertson at the moment. Djakovic's hand pass comes out to Vardy. Johnston applies the tackle. Ball spills out the back of the pack. Will he give it to Kickett? He'll try to. Eichol gets in the back. The ball's in the bottom of him. Steins breaks clear in the meantime. Almost slow motion stuff. Steins goes at goal and gets a valuable one for Melbourne. Steins is back there. He's working overtime at both ends of the ground. The kick back in towards the centre. Todd Viney and Kickett. In comes Lovett. Handball to Eichol. A little slow, but he gets his kick. Up towards full forward. Djakovic has got the mark in front of Heard, about 30 metres out directly in front, and Ross this is such an important oh, kick for Melbourne and he have any chance. Gave himself a chance just stopped a little, stuck his backside out watch this, just gets his backside a little bit Shane Heard, because of his lack of height there couldn't get a fist over the top of the spoil and Djakovic has kicked one stats kick. don't read too brilliantly but he's got a chance to get his second and it's a lovely kick by Djakovic straight through the centre Too long to take it his second kick for the day. Eight handballs, though. Cuthbertson standing on the mark. Steins with a punch away. Good bump by Kickett. Eichel, or some tuttle ball. Almost effective, but he couldn't clear that very big pack of players out there. Steins again, playing the game of his life. Your Djakovic, good use of the body. And I think you like that one, Robbo. Well, more importantly, and I'm sure Ross, you'll agree, he's in front, isn't he? Have you got a chance if you're yeah. in front? He's going to prove himself under enormous pressure there, hanging over his herd all the time. Look at that body, but that's great. Eyes on the footy, and there are players who could have come over the top, and Herd just conceded there. He's disappointed, but good play by Djakovic. So three marks, and they've all been taken in this quarter. Kicked two goals, one from the mark, one from the free. That just goes to show, I think, how disconcerting this breeze can be. He was about to have a try at it. And then stopped and he's gone back to have a second yes, he also wasn't sure where the mark was and heard it run right back to run on onto it picks a goal and gets it so Djakovic getting his third and Melbourne fans are a little bit happy on that trail now by Holly. now he plays on and with that left foot the oh. kick is smothered oh this is so unbelievably crucial that kick by Considine goes to centre half forward for Eston. ball rebounds White thumps it back. Chance down. Opportunity for Brett Lovett. Watson beats him to it. Well done, Watson. Handball goes to Spawn. Eston may get a goal out of it. It's a long kick by Spawn. It's a goal. And it's all come from Spawn's kick at centre half forward. Graham Yates at right half back. Short of goal in this quarter. Make too much of it. This kick up towards centre wing. Steins in front down to Wanganee. Hills after him. Running the Shepherd. Wangani running the boundary. Right along. Real boundary rider. Love it in front. Spawn over the top. Two number 17. Down and up. That goal and gets it. TD brings up his first goal for the afternoon. The veteran 9-9 to 7-6. Yes. Good job before half time on Djakovic, who is playing better. They're getting more out of him in this quarter. Blocked by Kick it. Stop the hand pass though. Lovell. Jakovic again. He's beat two, yeah. There's a bit of notes, but uh, are you not allowed to use your body, Robbo? Well, you're a great exponent of it, Ross, so I, I can't be too critical. I reckon if you if you've built yourself up, you've got yeah. strength in your body and you can use it well. Well, the other thing is you've got to be, as an umpire, one of the hardest things to do is to watch the two players wrestling, the flight of the ball, and judge whether it's in five minutes. It's a very difficult decision. Five marks this quarter, and he's now kicked four goals, Alan Djakovic. Points in it, and of course, Melbourne will have the win in the final quarter. Cuthbertson, a hurried hand pass. White from mid-air. Hacks it up towards half forward. Now, Bennett has taken the mark. He won't go for the long bomb. Might have almost kicked it, but that's history now, because the play on the floor comes to Eichold. He kicked it to the man on the mark, Dyson. Can't regain balance. Good tackle by Buick. Kicker tries to get it off the ground. Spalding, a high kick, not a long one. Into the forward pocket. O'Donnell taken out of it. Bennett has taken the mark. And what will he do this time? We won't ask you, Robert. Well, the Melbourne players really are persistent. Yeah, they're really putting themselves in and making every post to winning here. Viney and two of the Melbourne players going with the flight. Ops to Bennett. Bennett, the better hands. You going to back him this time? I think you'll kick this one. Okay. Surely he must have learnt from the previous kick. Get the distance again, about 35 metres out directly in front. And Good pass. <laughs> you 
complete the average Ross. level he didn't get the distance, kicking right into the teeth of this almost a gale. It's a pretty strong little beast of it. And Essendon looking a little rattled, maybe? Just a little bit, yes. Luddle has the My chance. Word. They'll have to gather their numbers quickly, won't they? Well, a few of their playmakers have gone out of the game. Luddle for his second. A goal would put Melbourne in front. It's about for the win, maybe too much, but it's coming around. It's a goal. So Luddle gets his second. Melbourne hit the front late in the third quarter. 10-7 to 9-9. Runs into his teammate there in Earl Spalding. Centering kick. Oh, didn't do that too well at all. It was intended for Jimmy Steins. Oh, and Essendon is suddenly on the break. They did get a little bit cocky. O'Brien. Out to Long. Essendon now with two goals down. Not going to work this time. Mark Stevens. Mark taken by Phoebe uh, to the half back. Because he watched the, the footy, world. that's why. He kept his eye on the footy, not his opponent. Love it. To love it. Love it at the right halfback flank. To Eichold and he played a great third quarter. On to Dyson. Former B of A player. Dyson in towards Jakovic, who couldn't take the mark on that occasion. He had a great third quarter. Off the ground. Goal coming from Beveridge. It's his second. Luke Beveridge kicked Melbourne's first and he might have kicked the winning goal. 12 9 to 9 9 at BFL Park. And that's Steins. Ezard has it knocked away by Beveridge, but it's still a bomber ball. Kick it now has it. The hand passes quickly, or quickly done and effectively onto O'Brien. A wobbly one to half forward. Weight being used in the packs and coming away from the Demons is Phoebe. A wobbly punt knocked away by O'Donnell. The backing up well is Todd Viney. Onto Beveridge, Beveridge to half forward, and Djakovic again finding space. And you would have to say, within kicking distance, he could have got it moving a little bit quicker. Perhaps he's turned it back on the play. I think he might have sensed the sixth goal coming up. I think he's really confident he might kick that one. <laughs> but again, it was a, their run and their contest, and the ball just favouring them with the bounce, particularly on that wing coming back to near the Viney contest. They're just running free. The number six, directly in front. Breeze behind him again, right on 50. He likes it. It's a goal. Alan Jakovic, goal number six, and the Demons go further ahead. 14 10 to 9 9. It's played the mark for Wanganeen. Maybe too far out to score. Kick number eight for Wanganeen. Hit a space at full forward. Over the head of Werner. If he can gather it quickly, he should get a goal, and he has done. Werner putting through his third. So three goals to Werner. A little bit too late, though, for Essendon. Their first goal, and in fact, their first score for the quarter. Essendon come up to 10-9. Yes, and whilst it's not impossible, I think it's going to be so difficult for Essendon to come back in the game from here. And a good reading of the ball there from Essendon, from Werner. Got a good bounce. But they certainly look shot at the moment. A lot of their players and socks down, looking very tired. Sixty-nine to ninety-five, twenty-six points the difference under ten minutes remaining in the elimination final. Down goes Somerville, along goes Anderson. The umpire says he can play on, and he does. Likewise, he too runs his full distance, kicks it up towards full forward. Werner, can he kick two inside a minute and keep the bombers in the game? He has done. He's got four goals. So the bombers not going down without a fight. Fourteen eleven to eleven nine. Worried about that as the clock ticks down, just on seven minutes remaining in the match. John Sell there, the Melbourne football manager, on the phone. I understand has resigned. Eichold, and what a difference he's made, especially around midfield in the second half. And again, Melbourne trying to close it up. They're doing it pretty well. Suiting them right down to the ground. Djakovic almost, yes, I think Djakovic a mark. So he could finish up with his seventh goal. Because he... 6-2. 6-2. And he's now kicked seven goals too. For SMS Salmon as a spearhead, whilst Werner's kicked four, they just need someone else down there attack to kick to. How much have they missed Anthony Danner, who had pulled back? Walsh, who's done well in his first senior game for the year. But the numbers have been Melbourne's way, and that's continuing. Arshold, in towards full forward, and a mark taken by Lovell. He has a pot shot and puts it through for his four. And a wrestle behind play. It's Dyson, and I think Long, yes it is. 16-11 to 11-9.